Monday, a wife and mother whose lifestyle led her to death row. I Want to Live, the Monday night movie. <laughs> There's an amazing medication for minor cuts and burns. These sweet substances, honey, syrup, molasses, sugar, combined with a povidone iodine solution. In a study of almost 800 patients, those given this combination healed faster and had almost no scars. The scientific explanation? Sugar is a natural agent that fights bacteria. It's safe, non-allergic, and inexpensive. But you must make sure to wait until bleeding has completely stopped. Write FYI or ask your doctor for more information about how to prepare a sweet solution to have on hand for cuts and burns. Tonight on ABC's World News Tonight, what's it like to be America's first woman astronaut? I do feel that there's some, some pressure for me to not mess up. With Challenger's next flight, she'll write a new page in history. ABC News, uniquely qualified to bring you the world. Mr. Rifkin will have his sandwich now. When you make a sandwich with buttock meats, be careful. Lean, economical buttock meat tastes so good, it's hard not to nibble. <clears throat> Your bread, sir. Buttock, it's not your ordinary sandwich meat. Miss Evans, I brought you a softer tissue. Kleenex, soft too. I always use these. Honest, they're softer. Not soft as it might. Oh, is soft teak tissue really softer? Really? See, only soft teak adds a special softness fiber for extra special softness. Soft teak is softer. Miss Evans, I really love soft teak. When your nose needs the softest, soft teak tissues. Marvin Gaye's music, 7.30 tonight. Yes? This is your good friend and associate. Is everything all right? I was just going to ask you the same question. Oh, everything is perfect on my end. You may release Mrs. Devereaux, as we discussed, in Plan A. Plan A? But if everything went all right... That's right. Just do as I say. Yes. Yes, of course. What's going on? Apparently, it's plan A. What are you talking about, plan A? He said I could leave if everything worked out. Do you know the number? What number? Your house, of course. That's where he was calling from. Oh, uh, 555-6523. Five, 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 right. M maybe it's 2-4. Don't you know your own phone number, Mrs. Devereaux? I haven't Devereaux? lived there that long. Um, um, five, 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 six, five, two, four. No, wait, wait a minute. Five, six. Get this right, Mrs. Devereaux. Your life could depend on it. Oh, God. Um, five, 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 six, two, four. Well, I, uh, I believe that concludes our business, Mr. Devereaux. I suppose I should thank you, Mr. Cameron, for being so generous as not to have me arrested. Hello? It's for you. Yes? Listen, Cameron, I'm not going to do your dirty work for you until I'm sure you have the real phone book. I have it. It's on the disk, and it's right here in my hand. Are you sure it's the right one? Have you seen a printout? I saw the list on the terminal screen. So what makes you so damn sure you've got the right disk? I'm telling you, I saw it removed from the disk drive. That's not good enough for me, Cameron. I'm not going to do anything drastic until I see the printout. Do you have a printer? Yes. All right. You'll get your printout. I'll be there shortly. Well, my associate is reluctant to release Raven till I prove that the disk is authentic. I'll have to get a printout of the phone book list right now. If I don't return within one hour, your wife dies. And why should I care? After what you told me about Raven marrying me, only to betray me? Well, I think it would be... I think I'll have that disk 
Mr. Cameron. The Edge of Night is brought to you by Dawn, the dishwashing liquid that takes grease out of your way. And by new Era Plus, gets out many tough stains to get your whole wash clean. Hidden deep in the mountains of your dirty laundry are some very tough stains. Introducing an incredible new laundry detergent that gets them out. Introducing new Era Plus with protein. Why protein? Because stains like tough collar soil, ketchup, even ground in grass are made of protein. And protein gets our protein stains. Era Plus on even set in blood. Protein gets our protein. Put a little Era Plus on problems. Add a quarter cup to clean the whole wash. Nothing gets out every stain, but new Era Plus will get out some of the toughest. New Era Plus with protein gets out stains to get your whole wash clean. I feel sick. Uh, four pancakes, six sausages, and three eggs are inclined to have an adverse effect on your body, Rich. It's not the pancakes, it's all these greasy dishes. How are we ever gonna get them clean? Let's not panic. We've got Dawn. Look, Dawn scatters grease. It fights hard to take grease out of the way. Help keep it away. See, Dawn got the grease. Look what I found on the moose. So wash it. After four million greasy dishes, this looks as good as the one you washed earlier. And my hands don't feel greasy. Mm -mm. Grilled trout. Uh, who's gonna clean them? I clean the dishes. And you clean the fishes. <laughs> Dawn takes grease out of your way. Oh, now I seem to have made a tactical error in telling you the truth about your beloved raven, haven't I? I still don't see how you managed to convince her to do something so unselfish. <laughs> that it was quite simple, really. I simply told her that it was her patriotic duty, and no, you know Raven better than that. Actually, it required quite a bit of invention on my part. You're quite an ingenious fellow, aren't you, Mr. Cameron? I think it's a necessity in our business, don't you? Tell me how you did it. I'd be very interested to know. Well, I can tell you that it, it required uh, using your feelings for her. I see. Oh, yes. You had to care a great deal for her, Mr. Devereaux, to put up with all that nonsense and her lies. Give me that disc, Cameron. Of course. You know, I think you still do care a great deal for her, Mr. Devereaux. Too much to see her become all bloodied, dead. Do you really think it's worth it, Mr. Devereaux, for that, considering how you feel? A good decision, Mr. Devereaux. Now I'll take that gun, please. I'll add it to my growing collection of your weapons. Thank you. Uh, and just one more favor, if you will. I do need that printout of the phone book list. Yes, yes, that's right. Tell me how you did it. Are you sure you want to know that? How did you convince her to marry me? I threatened to imprison the man she really loves, Skylar Whitney. Print, Mr. Devereaux. You haven't heard from her at all, Carolina. No, no, she didn't say specifically she was going to come visit you. All she said was that somehow she was going to solve all our problems, whatever that means. No, no, I've already tried Mike and Nancy. They don't know where she is, neither does Chief Mallory. So that includes just about the whole inner circle, with the exception of Cameron. I, I 
tried that. No answer. Uh, yeah, listen, sweetheart, listen, I'll talk to you later. If you hear anything, let me know. Okay, bye. Come in. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Whitney. Uh, the cook's real worried. Uh, she fixed a very nice meal for you, but it's sitting out there getting cold. It's a shame to let it all go to waste. Don't let it go to waste, Gunther. Uh, eat it yourself. Yeah. Well, well, I think I can do that. Kind of surprised you have an appetite, though. I thought rejected lovers uh, lose their appetite. Rejected? Uh, Mr. Whitney, nobody rejected me. Didn't you tell me that the girl you proposed to turned you down? Well, not because she rejected me. She just got stuck with another offer. Oh. From that lawyer, huh? Yeah, I talked to him, you know that? You did? Yeah, I went right down to his office and I talked to him about it. Well, that must have been quite an encounter, what happened? Yeah, it was. I told that creep Nelson exactly what I thought about him stealing my girl from me. Stealing? I thought you told me that he was there first. Uh, well, yeah, he was, but he, he wasn't thinking about marrying her until I came along. He just popped the question before I did, that's all. And, well, you know, Mitzi, she's just too nice to change her mind. So what did you say to him? I told him he'd better be nice to her. Because if he hurts her, or anything like that, I'm gonna break his face. Gee, Gunther, I had no idea you were so sensitive. Yeah, me too. Uh, Whitney Residence. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get the name. Oh, yes, uh, excuse me. Uh, it's Mr. Devereaux for you. Ian. You can go now, Gunther. Enjoy your meal. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'll say something. Hello, Ian. Hello, Skye. Are you busy this evening? Uh, no, I was planning on just spending the night home. Why? I'd like to talk to you as soon as possible. I see. Well, uh, why don't you come on over? Bring Raven with you, why don't you? Uh, no. Raven isn't here. I see. Well, uh, I'll see you in a bit. You sound as if, uh, you have something momentous to tell me. What, what's going on? I think you already know. I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> New GE Spacemaker can opener. What sets it apart from all other electric can openers? Honey, where's the coffee? It's the only one that mounts under your cabinet. Is there any club soda? Not only does it open all sorts of cans, bottles... The peas are done. ...and even plastic bags, but the new GE Spacemaker can opener also opens up something else. Your valuable counter space. GE, we bring good things to the land. These roll-on antiperspirants are more or less alike, except for Tussie. Tussie has one of the most effective ingredients to help stop wetness, but so do all the others. Tussie has one of the most reliable ingredients to help stop odor, but so do all the others. Tussie has everything you need to help stop wetness and odor. So what makes Tussie different? Simple. Tussie's everyday price is a lot less than all the others. Tussie antiperspirants and deodorants. The low price is the big difference. More interruptions. Come in. Hi. I'll let myself in. Hi. Can I come in? Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm busy, but I always have time for you, Mitzi. <laughs> Hey, I was getting a little worried about you. You said you were coming down to the restaurant, and I didn't see you. Yeah, I, uh... Uh, I uh, brought you a little snack. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, sorry, I, I just was very busy with uh, Nicole's defense, you know, this trial. I've been uh, letting my other clients slip. Cliff, are you sure that's all it is? I mean, I didn't do anything wrong, did I? No, no, uh, whatever made you think that. Well, I know I've been acting kind of crazy lately with Poppy leaving and all. Well, that's no, all right. I, I mean, uh, I hope you find a new partner just as soon as this trial is over. Cliff, are you sure you're all right? Oh, hey. I'm fine. You look a little pale. Well, I was uh, thinking uh, on buying a sun lamp or maybe moving to Florida, whichever's cheaper. <laughs> well, actually, uh, Mitzi, there is something wrong. What? Gunther Wagner paid me a visit earlier. Oh, my gosh. I knew there was something wrong. He seems to uh, think that we're engaged. Yeah, yeah, I know. He seems to think that you told him that we were engaged. Yeah, Cliff, I did. Cliff, you've got...
got to understand this. I, I, I didn't know what else I could do. I, Cliff, I couldn't just say no to his marriage proposal. I, he could have gone crazy. He could have gone berserk. He could have run around the restaurant smashing things. I, Cliff, I have enough trouble at that restaurant as it is. So you told him you had a better offer. No, not better. Just earlier. Well, thanks. Well, Cliff, I couldn't tell him you were better. Thanks. Cliff, his ego was as big as he is. So, so, so he believed you, huh? Well, yeah, after I showed him my engagement ring. See? Nancy, I didn't give you that. I know. My mom did. I, it's a real pearl. You know, it's not that big, but... Well, she only paid $10 for it. Oh, yeah. Guess what Gunther told me? He said that if I don't marry you, he's gonna take that ring and put it through my nose. He said that? Yeah, he seems to want to defend your honor, even if it means tearing me limb from limb. Do that? Oh, imagine what he's going to do when he finds out it's not true. Well, we'll get out. All right. All right. So, um, okay. Okay, since I'm the one who doesn't want to get married right now, right? We just break the engagement. But there isn't any engagement, Mitzi. You're right. That's true. Uh, it would be a lie. My mother always told me not to lie. Ah, where was your mother when you uh, told Gunther you were engaged? Okay, okay, I got it. We get engaged for real. You propose to me, and then we break the engagement. Let's see. Do you, uh, do you insist on being dishonest? Yes. My mother would like it this way. Okay, uh, Mitzi, um... Mitzi will... <clears throat> Mitzi, will you marry me? Oh, Cliff, it's so sudden. Oh, this is just a gag. Well, it better not be, or I'm going to get myself a lawyer, and I'm going to sue I'm you. I'm a lawyer. You're hired. Well, Mitzi, what are you doing? Oh, Cliff, I love you. I mean, you know I love you. But you also know that I don't want to get married right now. Yes, I know. Look, please. I don't want you to get upset. I, I, you just have to realize that I, I'm just not ready to learn how to cook right now or have a baby. Yeah, I, I know. Look, please, let me finish. I have a restaurant, and this restaurant is very important to me, and I, I, I need to run it. I... So, Cliff, I'm going to give you your ring back. Yeah, but, but Mitzi... No, please. No tears. I... I just think it's better this way. I... I gotta go. Yeah. But... No, please, Cliff. I... Goodbye. Yeah, but it's your ring! After four hours of world-class tennis, you're exhausted. That's why the soap the Women's Tennis Association supplies its players is Coke's Theodorant Soap. With its stimulating scent and lather that feels terrific, Coast refreshes and rejuvenates and picks you up in a way no other soap can. And if Coast can help after this, isn't it just what you need after a day with your kids? No tire is too tired for Coast. You're knocking on the watermelon? That's dull, but... Sound nice? Why are you such a choosy shopper? Because I want what's best for my family. Are you as choosy about your peanut butter? I would hope so. Fine. But how does it taste? Let's compare. Which of these leading brands tastes more like fresh peanuts? A tastes more like fresh peanuts. You chose... Jif. More women choose Jif for fresh peanut taste than any other leading brand. I would buy Jif. Choosy mothers choose Jif. Brutus walked me through the mud in white pants. And I'm out of bleach. Use mine, Sue. No liquid bleach. This bleach will clean that muddy dirt better. Sue doesn't know she's getting Biz Bleach. Biz is bleach. Plus energized cleaners liquids don't have. They're so white uh -huh. and bright. What was that bleach? Biz Bleach. Biz Bleach? <gasps> I better get some. Or a smaller dog. <laughs> discover Biz Bleach. And discover a cleaner, whiter wash. You know, I just can't understand how Raven could take off like this without telling anyone where she was going. But you're mistaken, Sky. I do know where she is. Wait a you said that you had no idea. I don't know exactly where she is or who she's with, but I do know why. That has something to do with why you're here? That has everything to do with why I'm here. 
Well, all right, Ian, don't you think it's time to raise the curtain? You obviously feel you have something very dramatic to tell me. Raven is being held hostage. Is that dramatic enough for you? What are you talking about? Who's holding her hostage? The United States government, or at least its counter-espionage agency. I don't believe you. I find it hard to believe as well. I've never had any personal encounters with the CEA, and I find it difficult to believe that they'd wage war on a man's family. But according to David Cameron... Cameron? Oh. So you do know who Cameron is? I don't know who he is. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, where is Raven? Is she in danger? I was told that she'd be released at once. And if Mr. Cameron really does represent the CEA, I assume she will be. I doubt if they would stoop to murder as well as kidnapping. Can you be so cool, Ian? I'm anything but cool, Skye. I'm trying to keep an even keel so I can appreciate what I hope you'll tell me. I've got nothing to tell you. You're the one person who can give me the information I want, Skye, since you are at the heart of this elaborate scheme to trap me. I don't know what you're talking about. The cat is out of the bag, Skye. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. What about Cameron? What about the CEA? What about the phone book? Oh, and what about Mrs. Devereux? Remember her? I'm not going to just stand around here. Call Cameron. You must have his number. I'm going to call the police. What good would the police do? Would they arrest him? He's been cooperating with the police. No. The person you must talk to is Cameron himself, and you know it. So you are in league with him. standing out there. You'll get your clothes back soon. And your freedom. Can I have my clothes first? Your friend Cameron hid them somewhere. Don't ask me where. Stay right here and keep quiet. And here we are. The disc. The diary. And the computer printer. Yes, you're right. This is the phone book. Well, you've finally done it, Cameron. Yes, well, now there's just one more thing we have to do. Burn that list. Why? Why? Because the disc is innocent enough. If the CEA finds it, all they do if they run it through a computer is find a chess game. But if they find this list, it blows the whole thing. You're right. Yes, I know I'm right. Here. You can do the honors. Yes, indeed. We are going to have to destroy everything, including Mrs. Devereaux. She's got to be eliminated. Just... What are you doing? You said it was a chess game, right? This is checkmate. What the devil are you doing? They said you were one of us now. They were wrong. Now, look, Constantine, your word has always been your bond. If you think you can make a private deal on this, you're a dead man. You're right, Mr. Cameron. Constantine is a dead man. He died eight months ago in a London hospital. But not before he gave us enough information for me to take his place. You're not Constantine? <laughs> my name is Scanlon. Richard Scanlon. It's my real name. You and I are part of the same private club, the CEA. In just a few years, your child can grow to nearly twice his size. And as he grows, his need for calcium grows too. But there's never been a children's vitamin with calcium until now. Introducing Flintstones Complete, with essential vitamins and minerals to help complete a balanced diet, plus calcium to help build strong bones. New Flintstones Complete with calcium to help complete their growing needs.
Start with fresh, crisp old El Paso taco shells with all the fresh corn flavor of stone ground corn. Golden, crisp, and so tasty. Get tacos like you like them, and you like them, and you like them. Get tacos like this from old El Paso, where the taco shells are crisp and fresh. Like I like them. Get tacos like you like them from old El Paso. Ryan's Hope, a high-stakes conspiracy leads Frank. You will tell me what I want to know. To force Charlotte's hand. And then after that, you're mine. Ryan's Hope, weekdays. You see, it was the real Constantine who gave us the idea that there might be someone in the CEA who was not exactly loyal to his country, despite 15 years of security clearance. There's nothing wrong with my clearance, Scanlon. It's your clearance that's in danger, if you are one of us. I'm surprised you don't recognize my name from the security list. But then there are hundreds of us, aren't there? Oh, yes? Well, if you are who you say you are, why not get on the phone to Washington and oh, prove it? Wrong capital, Cameron. I know who you'd really like to call. <laughs> You're insane, Scanlon. You're asking for big trouble. I didn't ask for this trouble. I was assigned to it by your own superiors when they began to get the idea that they might have been harboring a mole for the last 15 years. That's ridiculous. Oh, I've wanted to nail you dozens of times since we started this whole thing. But they kept telling me to be patient. They kept telling me that retrieving the phone book was just as important as throwing a net over you. All right, look. I have been in touch with the other side. Of course I have. You've heard of double agents. I I've have. also heard of double crosses, Cameron. I'm telling you that I'm working for our side and working damn hard. I was willing to do anything just Even to... kill Raven Devereaux, hmm? Well, that was a bluff, of course. I wouldn't have done anything like that. You can tell the whole story to Washington. Now, Mrs. Devereaux. Raven. Back inside. Get me the disc. cleaning your hair can take. But silky and snow. The full-strength cleaning shampoo that senses where your hair is dry. You don't know how much conditioning your hair needs. But silky and snow. The conditioner that goes only where you need it. Now you don't have to keep switching shampoos and guessing what you need. Silky and snows automatically. More than you do, more than your hairdresser. You don't know how really beautiful you can be. But silky and snow. Outside the edge of night, half dark.
tonight on ABC's World News Tonight. What's it like to be America's first woman astronaut? I do feel that there's some, some pressure for me to not mess up. With Challenger's next flight, she'll write a new page in history. ABC News, uniquely qualified to bring you the world. Come join in the celebration. It's the greatest anniversary sale in Levitt's 73-year history. Everything is on sale at remarkable price reductions. Now through Tuesday. Good afternoon. I'm at 5 o'clock, an important breakthrough in the efforts to bring peace to the Middle East. We'll have that story for you, and we'll also have this report. Three's Company's Priscilla Barnes keeps the nurses at Presbyterian Hospital Company on this National Nurses Recognition Day. I'm Maxine Black. I'll have that story. And the latest thing for kids, uh, parents are signing up their young children for karate classes. We'll tell you why and all the news coming up at 5 o'clock. See you then. This week, two network television premieres. On Friday, the ultimate exercise in terror. Anybody here? Shelley Duvall, Jack Nicholson, The Shining. Parental discretion is advised. Here's Johnny. And on Sunday, Mark Sheen, Robert Duvall, Marlon Brando, Apocalypse Now. Parental discretion is advised. Friday, The Shining, Sunday, Apocalypse Now. Next week, Lindsay Wagner, Roy Scheider, and Marlo Thomas on Good Morning America. Coming up, it's TV's favorite families on The Family Feud. Join Richard Dawson as he welcomes your old friends from Batman, Gilligan's Island, Lost in Space, and Hawaiian Eye. Will Batman do it? And on All My Children. I have no one else to turn to. You can't trust me. You can't trust anybody. I'm begging you. Turn yourself in. Family Feud special, All My Children, weekdays.